Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today I'm going to be showing you a fun peekaboo tutorial. I've already laid out the colors that I wanted to use for my alcohol inks, which was latte, caramel, and teak wood. I have also prepped and painted my Tumblr heirloom white to start off with my design. Now, as you may have noticed in the very beginning, I showed you a very wonky, very inexpensive, I think Home Depot brush. It's just a simple paintbrush. I really like to use this old style used and abused brush, if you will. Um, I don't like to use the pretty new fancy ones. I feel like this one just really gets the job done for me. And I also think that that is a personal preference. So I did speed up this video a little bit so you guys can just see. I'm just kind of running it in, putting the inks onto the tumbler and just spreading it out. There's no rhyme or reason and I don't really have any type of special technique in applying the wood grain effect. Again, I think a lot of it happens and stems with the type brush that you're using. I also don't focus in on trying to make knots because it never actually looks like knots. And besides, I'm not really too focused on what wood grain perfection looks like as it is genuinely never perfected anyways. This tumbler is going to be a peekaboo, so I did not want this first coat to be dark at all. I really wanted it to be this light wood effect, and it's going to be my peekaboo effect. So I only used the latte for this entire first portion of the cup. Alcohol inks do dry very quickly. However, once I finish wrapping this up on this first portion of the tumbler, as well as get my bottom done, I will allow this to dry for at least an hour, and then I am going to seal in this alcohol ink. I will allow that to dry for about 20 to 30 minutes before I go into my first coat of epoxy. Now that that seal is dry, I am ready to go in with my first coat of epoxy. I am going to be using Facet from Counterculture DIY. Once you have your epoxy applied to your tumbler, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Now because I'm using a very large decal as my peekaboo for this tumbler, I waited five hours instead of my normal three before moving on to this step. So I found this beautiful SVG off of Etsy and I will be sure to have this link down for you in the description below. So when placing decals this size onto a modern curve tumbler, you really genuinely want to take your time to help yourself prevent wrinkles and air pockets. However, in this particular case, because I'm using this as a peekaboo, I am not concerned about the bubble that is happening somewhere on the body of the eagle. You would not want to pop that as we are going to go over this with another darker alcohol ink and we would not want it to seep up underneath. So a bubble in the center of the chest like that, we're just going to let that sit. I'm not going to touch it. If you've ever worked with a very large decal on a modern curved tumbler, you know it gets a little bit tricky. So at some point, I decide that I'm going to go ahead and cut off and remove some of the contact paper off majority of my eagle that is already placed. I also cut down some of the contact paper that is still connected to the eagle's wing. Once I removed all of this out of my way, I went ahead and decided to continue to roll up that wing until the paper just pretty much removed itself. I really hope that that makes sense. <laughs> if you've ever worked with a modern curve, you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments if you've ever done a peekaboo of any style with a modern curve and or attempted to place a very large decal onto a modern curve. I'd love to hear from you. As I continue to work this wing, I really hope you are all enjoying this video so far and please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Don't forget to click the bell to get notifications. Now 
now that we have our decal in place, oof, thankfully everything is nice and tight on this. I'm very happy with it. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with the caramel. I never even decided to use the teak wood because I thought it was going to give it more of a reddish, deeper, darker tone than what I actually wanted. So at this point, I'm just going to go in with the caramel and I'm going to go right over that latte and just give it a little bit of a darker color, but nothing to deep if that makes sense. I do believe that I did all of the first coat on camera and I did go back in a second time off camera and I allowed this to sit for about an hour and again I was being very very careful trying to make sure that I was getting in between the wings and all those detailed grooves. Again, I was not brushing very difficultly, but just enough to get through there without causing any issues with my decal. So again, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit for you guys. Um, also at this stage of the game, you can really decide how dark or you know, in this case, do one coat, but you can really decide just how dark you want this to be. My end goal with all of that work with that decal was really to get those detailed images to shine through on this cup for my dad, as this was a Christmas gift for him. Once you have your desired wood grain effect, allow this tumbler to set off and completely dry before you go through and weed all of this decal off. It is not necessary to seal it before you weed your decal off. Once you have allowed your tumbler to completely dry, you can now begin the fun part, which is weeding out your entire design and showcasing the wood grain light effect underneath. I am not going to deny the fact that this did take me quite some time. I obviously don't show everything because of the extensive time and the size of the decal that I was working with, but I do show you bits and pieces that you'll obviously get to see the end result. Once I had everything weeded out of my design, I did go back in and seal this. I waited about 30 minutes before I went in with another coat of epoxy. For this tumbler's final coat of epoxy, I went in with Counterculture DIY's Artist Resin. I want to thank you all so much for watching and be sure to find me on TikTok under Rebecca Escott. Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all links will be in the description for you below. As with all coats of epoxy, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. See you soon.